All right, what's up everyone? So I was just about to record a video on how to do references automatically with Groff. And before I do that though, I wanna show you exactly how efficient, how nice this system is. And so in this video, I'm gonna compare formatting a document with Groff and refer to do bibliographies with compiling a document with LaTeX using Bibber or BibLaTeX, whatever it is, um, to do references. Now, if you watch my channel, you know I have a lot of videos on LaTeX. I highly recommend LaTeX. LaTeX is what basically every serious person who has to do formatting, typesetting, uses in academia, in the you know sort of real world. Uh, it's the next step after you get out, you finish using you know Google Docs or Word or whatever silly thing people use nowadays. Uh, it's highly extensible. You can do a lot of stuff with it. But Groff is not only built into Unix systems by default, but it's still, there is a whole lot of efficiency in the system. So in this video, I'm gonna show you, give you a slice of what that is. Now, those of you who use LaTeX know, well, here you'll see in front of you, I have a Groff document on the left and a LaTeX document on the right. And the important thing is I have a reference in both of these, it's actually the same reference. Um, and I just wanna format these documents. So I wanna compare these head to head. Now, if you're a LaTeX user, you know, in order to actually format a reference in LaTeX, it's actually a little uh, confusing, or not confusing, it's, it's sort of inefficient. That is, in order to compile a document with references, you have to first compile the document with PDF LaTeX and create a PDF with it. In the process of that, it creates a, bu a bunch of build files, and those build files will document what kind of references it needs. Then you run Bibber or whatever your bibliography manager is, and it will you know, find those references in your given bibliography file. Then after that, you run PDF LaTeX again, and it will correctly compile the PDF with all of the references. Then after that, sometimes if you have a bunch of cross -refer references, you have to run PDF LaTeX a third time. So that's what you do in LaTeX, and if you use LaTeX, you just sort of get used to the fact that you have to do that to, to create a bibliography properly. Now on the other hand, Groff, as a good Unix utility, everything is stream-based and it's nice. It's, there are a bunch of little programs that do very little um, you know, text manipulation, stream manipulation, and that's it. So in order to do references with Groff, really all you have to do is run the command refer on uh, this document here and it will find the correct references and you can directly pipe that into a Groff command. Now, here I have the two commands that are important here. On the top here, there is the PDF LaTeX command. Again, you run PDF LaTeX, then you run Bibber, then you run PDF LaTeX again. Arguably, you have to run it a third time. And below here, you'll see, oh, oops, that's not the button I meant to press. Below here, you'll see um, that uh, we have the refer command to compile the references in Groff and then just the Groff command. So I'm gonna be running time on both of these to see how fast they are. And you can probably guess what the results are gonna be. First, we'll go ahead and run the PDF LaTeX command because that's what people are most familiar with. So it's compiling the first time, it's running Bibber, and then it's gonna run PDF LaTeX again. And you'll see that it's about four seconds. It, that took about four seconds for it to compile. I'm gonna bring up the PDF of this. So here's our nice PDF. You'll see that we have our reference right here. So, I mean, at least it worked. It took four seconds, but you know, maybe in the grand scheme, I mean, it's way shorter than doing your references in Word or something like that. But let's compare it to um, Refer and Graph. And it's already done. Refer and graph, again, it's just string manipulation, it's, or stream manipulation. It takes, you know, about a tenth, maybe a twentieth of a second. Uh, so that, or not a twentieth, or twenty percent. Ten percent or twenty percent of a second, that's what I meant to say. So much faster, much more efficient. Um, and you might say, okay, well this is, I can wait the four seconds, I really like LaTeX. And you, you can, and it's not like I'm not gonna use LaTeX again in my life. Probably gonna write my dissertation in it still. Um, but the thing to remember is for most document compilation, especially if you're using something like a live preview, if you have a live preview of LaTeX, you know, I, I used to use a, a live preview of LaTeX. I, I don't really like live previews anymore, but when you have that, whenever you're making changes, you're running this four second command or at least some subsection of it. So that is really processor intensive. I could always see, you know, how intensive my, you know, I could look at my CPUs and see all the work they're doing whenever I'm compiling LaTeX. 
But if I use refer in graph, it happens basically instantaneously. You don't even have to worry about, oh, I, let's actually look at the uh, graph document. Here it, here it is. We have our reference properly formatted. Um, you know, everything, basically the same thing. Actually, we might as well compare it to the uh, PDF LaTeX, or yeah, the LaTeX document. Here's our LaTeX document. Here is our graph document. Different formatting by default. You can, of course, change that, but you know, doesn't matter. So anyway, that, that so this is sort of the point of the video, like um, Groff is built to be very minimalist. I mean, it, again, it's supposed to be very uh, in sync with the Unix philosophy and commands like refer, what they in effect do, they're not some extra compilation command that runs on top of it. But what, a ref, what refer does is it actually goes and look for specifically um, marked sections of the text that it's supposed to look at. It performs what operations it needs to on that and then it can pipe the rest to Groff. And that's why one of the reasons it works so efficiently. Um, so anyway, I'll do a video on refer and graph pretty soon. Uh, I'll probably record it later today. But uh, this is just to give you an idea of how big the difference can be between it and LaTeX. So anyway, hope you learned something and I'll see you guys next time.